Hello, Mixtresses and Mixters. This is Mixtress Ray. You're watching Mixtress Video. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so first of all, sorry for the weirdo shot. Um, this is just the best I can do at the moment. Um, I wanted to do, I don't know, is this a... <laughs> do you see this fucking thing? This... Uh, is the goddamn Nameless One Tarot and Oracle deck Companion Grimoire comes in this big ass, like, I, don't know, I can barely fucking hold it up. And I'm gonna try to stuff it back here and it's gonna fall over. <laughs> okay, so I really hope that stays up. If it doesn't, whatever. The the, it's like a, it's the grimoire is in like a, a box. Okay. So I just want to show you, I backed this motherfucking Kickstarter two years ago and two years is too long for me. And the project just sort of like, like, I'm going to be honest about how I feel about all of this stuff. Like quality. Great. Um, but it's a lot. It's super overstimulating, and I don't personally think that this fits into my life. I don't know. So I was going to do an unboxing, but this was all just too much for me to try to do on camera. Plus, I didn't know like what kind of stupid shit I was going to say. So I got this earlier today. And... I'm never going to back a Kickstarter again. Okay, I'm just going to show you everything that's in here. So the deck came in this box, which I don't know if you can kind of conceptual. Oh, and I have the Oracle cards are in the box right now. So first of all, this box doesn't open like even totally perpendicular. It doesn't even open all the way. Like, do I bend it back? Actually, yeah. Okay, never mind. So for those of you guys that are worried about bending this back, it's fine. It is fine. I just did it and it is fine. So do it. Don't be scared. Okay. This box is fucking gigantic. I don't even know. Can I demonstrate to you how gigantic this is? Okay, here we go. Regular size tarot deck, Halloween tarot. Let's drop it in this box. <laughs> guys I'm sorry I'm a little bit delirious because the grimoire wasn't gonna be a thing at first so I got like the extra early bird price because it was just supposed to be a sigil tarot and oracle deck with the guidebook that fits in the box and then some extras you know unlockable extras blah 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 it was just supposed to be those things but then she added a grimoire and that's what made the whole thing take two goddamn years so this is 30 extra oracle cards. Okay, I just need to go through and list everything that this is. I knew I was going to be like this. Like, I just can't, like, not say everything that's in my head at all times. But that is the way that I am. That's what you guys are here for, right? Unless you just came here for an unboxing and you're like, who the fuck is this chick? What is she talking about? Okay, so you get the deck. Certificate of Authenticity. Signed. I don't fucking care about that shit. But whatever, I'm just going to put it back in the box so I don't lose it since I might not be keeping this. Spoiler alert! Okay. This is 30 Oracle cards. This is the Tarot deck. This all comes together, of course. I just separated it. It's got, like, embossed silver on the backs of the cards. Okay. That's that. Here's the guidebook that comes inside the box. Okay. It came with, this is the Kickstarter edition, so I think these will be available to buy on her site. But it came with two divination coins. This one is like an Ouroboros snake on one side and then a crow in front of a moon on the other side. And then this one is a fox 
and a hair. So I actually have, I don't have it in here with me to show you, but I actually have her divination coin that she previously sold on her site that was a sun and a moon. So I think I'm going to use, I think I know how I'm going to use these. I think for me, I'm going to maybe even just use all three at once. Maybe use the sun and the moon as yes and no. I think I'm going to use this fox and hair as sort of a, if you get the fox, go for it. If you get the hair, hang back. And then with this one, I think the way that I'm going to use this, I see like the Ouroboros as sort of a community symbol, sort of a like do what's best for the all versus like the all versus the individual. So I can see myself maybe using these divination coins as sort of like clarifiers in a reading or something. So I have the one that I'm going to use as yes, no, and then this one will be individual versus community. And then this one will be um, hang back versus go for it kind of thing. Maybe, I don't know. That's how I'm thinking I'm going to use these. Again, I got distracted. But anyway, it also comes with this velvet bag, which is gigantic. And it's a really nice velvet bag too. It's like not really satin on the inside, but it's not that super rough material on the inside. And it's thick and lush and it's huge. Like this is big enough that I could put, like, I know I'm going to keep this no matter what, because it just has, you know, a cool occult looking sigil on it. So no matter what, I'll probably keep this. Like this could easily be like a, I'm going to the cemetery. I need, I could fit a tarot deck, an Oracle deck, a crystal. I could probably even fit my journal in this thing. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Can I do the drawstring with my journal in it? Actually, yeah, I can. <laughs> okay, so this is really, really nice. It also came, hey, that's my first name, Stephanie, just in case y'all didn't know. It came with like a sticker and it also came with another thing. What did I do with that? Oh yeah, here we go. Came with a pendant which I love a good pendant, but this is copper. And I really, for some reason, like I've just always been like this. I only do silver as far as like metals and jewelry. I have like one gold ring and that's it. Everything else, silver. Okay, then the fucking grimoire. That's a part of this whole noise. If you were to go to Alexandria Huntington's website right now and order all of these things, she probably has all of these things available. It would cost like $200 probably for all of this. Here's the thing. Is this usable for me? Let me, so I have this like little list of like, um, you know, am I going to be able to use this kind of list? And the first question is, can I shuffle it? First of all, Standard tarot card size. These cards are fucking gigantic. I will say, if you have any experience with Alexandria Huntington's um, Children of Letha tarot, this um, is not the same cardstock. This is smooth matte. It's still thick, but it's smooth and it's somewhat flexible. So there's that. There is no way in fucking hell I could ever shuffle this deck. Even, like, because earlier today, I set aside all of the tarot cards and like, okay, can I use this as a divination deck? It is almost impossible for me to fit my hand around. Like, even doing overhand shuffle. Like, yes, I can do it. Yes, I can do that. But I wouldn't... It's difficult... It's difficult. Okay. You guys, I sound like I'm really pissed off. <laughs> and it's just because I now have this giant box. Like if I do keep this deck, I've got this giant ass box. What am I gonna do? Where am I gonna put this? Where is this gonna fit in my tiny little closet that I have all my tarot shit in? Okay. So <laughs> can I shuffle it? No, not really. My other thought was 
So every card has, I actually kept this in my pocket today because I have huge pockets in my pants that I'm wearing today. And I had it in my pocket at work because I was going through it. Okay, so each card has a sigil affirmation. So I see this as kind of like a thing to say to sort of unlock the sigil magic on each card. So say I pull six of branches slash six of wands as my card of the day. Sorry, that was not positioned correctly. And I want to use the sigil. So I can say, I receive a claim and am worthy of respect. Okay, so my next question in general was, do I like the affirmations? By and large, I don't love the affirmations in this deck, simply because I don't agree with a lot of... Um, as far as, like, Zia Hunt and her her poetry and affirmations, I don't really like. I like kind of, her, I think I like her correspondences. There are no correspondences in the, I keep turning to that same card. There are no correspondences in the little book. There are just, every single card has a page. You've got the title, the affirmation, the upright, and the reversed. That's all you get in this little book, which is fine. Like, this is perfectly acceptable. Now, I'm going to clear everything off so I can get to the grimoire. Because I, all day long, I'm just thinking to myself, how am I going to use this deck? It does make me happy that I can bend this back. <laughs> but like this kind of stuff, the wording of this, it's, it's just, it's clunky to me personally. Here's the thing. Zia Hunt, she makes stuff highly personal that works for her. That doesn't mean it's not going to work for other people, obviously. I'm going to put the, I think I'm just going to, I'm not going to do like a flip through or anything with you guys. These cards are just so fucking big. There's just, I really don't think that there's a way that I can work with these cards. Although if you bend it back, there is sort of, I think there's, I thought that there was some kind of magnetic action with this. So that, that's a danger if you decide, if you have the same deck and you decide to bend it back so that it can actually open, it might not shut again properly. I mean, obviously you have the ribbon to tie it closed. But anyway, so I'm going to move all this shit aside so that I can show you the grimoire. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to shuffle it. I'm not going to be able to use it like a normal tarot deck. Okay. So maybe I, so my next question that I had with after, can I shuffle it? No. Do I like the affirmations? Not really. I'm not really an affirmation girl anyway. So, you know, that's not really surprising to me that I don't love the affirmations. Next question. Do I redraw? Okay. So like if I'm going to activate the sigils, oh, I want to do this on camera so you can see it, but it's so fucking hard so heavy. Okay. First of all, this is fucking gorgeous. It's like silver, like a white silver. And it's a cloth cover. The back has that on it. And it's, sorry. Um, it's gorgeous. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous thing. I'll like kind of move this a little bit. So my next thought was, okay, do I like the correspondences in the book? Because what this is essentially is, so we have, you know, information, like so much stuff in here. This could really be like, if you want like a big fuck off, a culty, good quality, magical correspondences, motherfucker of a grimoire. This might be it. Here's the thing. Okay, so we're looking at, let's look at a major arcana card. Hey, look, it's the fucking tower. Gorgeous, wonderful. So you get this full size. How fucking big is this? I don't know, but it's gigantic. Let me find, how do I compare this? Okay, here we go. So this is a Llewellyn, you know, this, this originally came with Vampire Tarot. 
so as far as like, can you, can you see this? It is, what is that? Three and a half, four inches taller and like two inches wider. And of course it's very fucking thick. I don't have a bookshelf that this is going to fit on. It's too goddamn tall. So I don't know. I don't know if it's going to fit on a bookshelf, but right now what I'm thinking is that I might be interested in keeping the grimoire because one, it holds itself open. Do you see this? That is real fucking cool. You just open it to any page it's going to stay open. So if you want to use it during magical workings, so every single card has full page, the tarot title, alternate titles, affirmation, numerology, element, astrology, animals, plants, crystals, colors, candles, a little poem. Then it's got an overview of the card. Then it's got the upright and reverse, which is the same. I assume it's the same as what's in the smaller guidebook. And then it's got a, the sigil, which this is the same affirmation as before, right? Yes. This, this, after the sigil, you get a quote of the same affirmation that was on the first page. And then you get some stuff and then you get symbolism explanations. So blades, blindfolded skull, colors, and there you go. So that is four pages on two of swords. So here's my thought. If I like the correspondences, let's see if I agree. So obviously numerology is two and element is air. Astrology is moon and Libra. So that's not deviating from the astrology that I know two of swords to be. Animal, human, owls, and mice. Okay. I don't know how, anyway, <laughs> plants, eucalyptus, fennel, lavender. Okay. Yeah. Eucalyptus for like clarity, fennel, calm, lavender calm. Yeah. Okay. I'll give you that. Crystals, Larimar, don't know that one. Ametrine. Okay. Yellow ventrine. I don't know. Colors, yellow, light blue, silver, and gold. I don't know. Okay. So do I like the correspondences? Like this is obviously, I, I need to look more into this grimoire before I can decide if I like the correspondences. So the next thing that I'm thinking about, it, will I even like redraw the symbols, the sigils, you know, am I likely to do that? Am I likely to redraw these sigils to use for myself in sigil magic? I don't think so. And it's not because they aren't good, but they're very complex one. So you'd have to recreate very complex sigils, but for two, and they're good, you know, they look very occulty. They do kind of remind me of the Necronomicon, which is a book that had a bunch of sigils in it that I had um, as a teenager. I don't think I have it anymore. So I think she's good at creating these symbols, but I doubt I will redraw them for myself because if I'm going to get into sigil magic, I'm likely going to want to create my own sigils. So the next thing that I was thinking to myself, like, okay, I'm likely going to get rid of the deck because I don't think that I will use it because I can't shuffle it. And that's just going to make me angry. And I don't want to keep things that make me angry, that don't feel usable for me. So next thought that I had, okay, let's say I want to create a spell based on the page of wands. This page of wands is actually, this is perfect because page of wands is actually my card of the month for November. Happy November, everyone. So what if I wanted to create a spell surrounding the page of wands? So I could get out this grimoire, set it out on a spell table, 
the magic of the created sigil can be open to the page and I can use these correspondences as you know starting points for how to craft my ritual surrounding the page of wands in this case I uh, weirdly like I've been saying since this grimoire because this is the thing that like held up the Kickstarter waiting on the grimoire like the cards have been done for who knows like six months maybe more <laughs> I don't know um here we go we get to the back chunk of the book this is let's see page 608 two that's an index I'm glad there's an index where are we selected references to 690 so the last 80 pages is appendices and additional information so this is where you have a shit ton of just kind of like regular magic correspondences right or tarot and oracle spreads here we go so let's see just kind of basic one card two card three card four card simplified cross facets of self spread oh we've got a astrological spreads aries spread taurus okay so we've got one for every astrological sign i'm assuming yes okay that's not in in the small book it has up to the Sorry, I'm trying to find it now. Up to this, the facets of self-spread, those are all in the small guidebook. It doesn't have the astrological spreads. And then it stops there, I guess. Yes. Okay, so we get like a whole thing about sigil magic here. How to activate them, how to craft them, how to charge them. Okay, cool. So a whole thing about how to make your own sigils. Animal correspondences and their symbolic meaning. So you can look up any animal any animal she has in here of course do we have ferret no what about weasel yep we got weasel resourcefulness creativity cleverness divine feminine never heard of that association with a weasel okay sorry i'm going through this kind of quickly because i've already been talking for so long okay plant correspondences and their symbolic meanings gorgeous illustration up there can you see that? I know the lighting is not great in here. Sorry, guys. But it's a grimoire. We only need the light of a candle for a grimoire, right? But it's staying open, you guys. I'm at the back of the book. It's staying open every page. That is pretty fucking cool, honestly. Wait, do we get past? No, these are plants still. Plants, crystal correspondences, and their metaphysical uses. Do have, like smudges or something on some of the cards but it's fine who cares really i mean i think on her website she's charging like 80 dollars just for the grimoire so i have a thing of worth here okay then we've got symbolism and psychology of color eh. then we've got candles and we've got spell work Okay, so we have some spells in the back. Let's see how many. Because I don't typically follow someone else's spells. But we've got Wealthy Witch Spell, Benevolent Black Candle Protection Spell, Freedom, so three, Manifesting the Desire, four, Prophetic Dream, five. Okay, so five spells, not excessive. Selected References. And then this is like the list of all the all the fucking people that back this shit there's me <laughs> you probably can't see that whatever it doesn't matter and then we have an index thank god okay so i was a little bit worried was i thinking that the names were the index earlier okay thank god we have an index so there you go is that it after the index is that all yes the idea that I have for this is that maybe I will use this book as a resource for correspondences whenever I'm making my own sigils, if I ever get into sigil magic, 
if I am making my own just spells in general. This has got a shit ton of different correspondences in it. And I do like having a tarot guidebook that has a bunch of correspondences. You know, because a lot of the time whenever I have a tarot guidebook, I will add my own correspondences all over the place. Just right all over the book. But here, it's kind of like any, almost any correspondence you could think of is all here with a sigil which is kind of nice especially in the black and white easier to easier to comprehend for me anyway um yeah honestly i don't know how i feel because it's a bunch of big heavy shit and for a person with dyspraxia that is difficult. <laughs> I just, I can't even, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> this is terrible. Um, okay, bye!